welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up if you can. Uh, a little bit different uh, today. Not uh, the usual sort of rural Enfield uh, stuff that I usually do, but uh, this is my other bike, a 2006 Honda VFR 800. Uh, absolutely love this bike. I think it's a fantastic bike. Uh, great for uh, touring uh, and a lot of fun, just a general super reliable great bike. Anyways, I'll do another video one day and uh, get into that about why I like this bike so much. But uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be installing an aftermarket exhaust on this bike. As you can see, it's got the stock exhaust. It's it's quite tame. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's good. It's, it sounds nice. It's got a nice little rumble to it. Not too loud. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to install a set of the uh, Stay in Tune pipes. Now I picked these up off of uh, eBay. They're no longer made by Stay in Tune. So they are available though on eBay. Uh, they're a uh, well, well made uh, pipe. Everybody seems to rave on about them. Uh, I haven't uh, installed these yet obviously so I can't, uh, can't say what they sound like. But uh, I just wanted to let people know that they are available. They're out there. Uh, on the, uh, the market, the eBay market. Uh, one thing to uh, look for if you're looking at one of these bikes, you're going to pick one up, is stay in t these stay in tune pipes had a problem with welds up here. Now on mine, when I got it, uh, this weld was cracked right here, and a little crack here as well over into this part of the pipe as well. So I had to uh, take it to my local friendly uh, welder and have him uh, re-weld this. So hopefully, uh, after this installation, it holds. Uh, if not, it cost me 50 bucks to get it welded, and if I have to do it again, I will. But uh, apparently the, uh, the sound of these pipes are fantastic. So uh, that being said, uh, like I say, one thing to be aware of if you're going to buy one of these pipes off of eBay, brand new, these were, I think somebody once mentioned, uh, up to around 1200 bucks for a set of these pipes. You can pick them up for three or four hundred bucks on eBay now. And, uh, they're a great pipe for a great bike. So uh, what I'm going to do is, firstly, I'm going to get my tools out here and remove the old pipes, and we'll go from there. Okay, first off, taking my seat off. Uh, going to pull this one. It's a six millimeter Allen. On on my bike because I've got the side brackets and the. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've got the. Uh, the side brackets and the uh, back rack. Uh, the bolts are longer. Yours will be tucked in. If you don't have any racks on it, they'll be tucked in here. There'll be a shorter bolt, but basically. So, take this off. We'll throw aside. One side. It's a nut. Not in a washer. And a large uh, rubber spacer you can see in here. So a 12 millimeter bolt on the exhaust. All right, so what I've had to do here, uh, I took my uh, my side racks off because they're easy to take off, uh, give me more room. And then I figured out that I've got to remove the uh, tail section as well. So that was four uh, 13 millimeter bolts. There are two here and two here. So. Four of those bolts come out, uh, disconnect the electrical connection, which is here, uh, and then your whole tail section will just pop out. Be aware, uh, one thing to worry about, or maybe spray it with some penetrating oil beforehand. I took mine out and ended up breaking one of these plastic tabs that I'm going to have to try and JB weld or try and fix that before I reinstall the tail section. But Regardless, uh, there's the other piece for that, so we'll figure that out when we put it back together. But it's off, so now I'm hoping the whole exhaust system should drop down and come off. Uh, as you can 
see it's still it's attached to the collector. It's it's one solid piece. Um, it's hung up on the adjuster there right now. But with some wiggling, I'm hoping that we can. tire off. So, there's the stock system. Like I say, this is a, one, a 2006. So the cans and the exhaust are all one solid piece. Um, now it's time to get the old one, or sorry, the new one to put on. Gasket. Oh, I saw a video online. There's a gasket. There's no gasket on the uh, the catalytic converter for this one. Uh, so now I'm just gonna see how this is all gonna fit in. I should go on right there. Like I say, I'm hoping to do this without taking the. up here to this um, connection point there. So, okay. All right. As you can see, got the pipe in and the hanger will attach right up over here. I've got a longer bolt to Attach the um, bracket here. So I'm just going to remove this bolt on this side for the uh, uh, passenger peg bracket and replace it with uh, another one that's um, five millimeters longer. Okay, and this ball, this is an eight millimeter. Not on the inside of that one, so this one is five millimeters longer, so that should go good. That's a, uh, that one's a six millimeter. side. Okay, so I put that one through and you can see down here, right up there, there's the, uh, the bolt protruding. So now we have to just get that hanger up there like that, and then put this nut on, which I should have put 
12 millimeter nut. but it's just a bit too wide to get in there so I can't use my ratcheting wrench so just tighten that guy in now I have it tightened down on the actual uh, uh, collector down here yet because I just wanted to sort of see how everything was going to fit first. Make sure it's down there. Just got to loosen that bracket off and turn it around so that I can get better, better reach on it. All right, so got the pipe up. Got the bolt on over here, it's not tightened right up. And I've got the, the clamp position so it's gonna be easy to tighten up. I had to take it off, put, turn it up, put it back on. Uh, whoever took it off last didn't uh, have the bolt facing the right way, so now the bolt's facing down over here. So, down there, so that'll be easy to tighten up. Now, this is the uh, right-hand side one. Now, I, I've read online where people say, some people say to put some RTV sealant on here. Others say they don't need it. This one, never had it before, so I'm going to try and leave it off. We'll see how we go for leaks, but uh, yeah, just goes up. And there's the. Try to see here. The slot for it. Yeah, just on the outside here. Ordinarily, if you don't have brackets, your bolt will go right through there, so this guy just goes up. Put it onto the bolt. Little wiggle. Sorry about the sun, it's kind of difficult. Okay, after some fidgeting and fiddling. We are able to get the bolt in and as you can see over here it's protruding right there so now I'll do the other side. Same thing. Okay, again, get the bottom end of the pipe up. Give it a bit of a twist. Without this aftermarket uh, luggage set, it would be a lot easier to put on, I'm sure. So I've had to take the bracket off and just set it aside to give me the room to get the pipe in up there. So hopefully this will now this will now slide in. Okay, so after much up and down and fidgeting around, 
mainly because of this rack, you're able to get it feeded through. So tap that in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, the nuts, washers and nuts back on here. Reattach the uh, tail section, and then I'll bring you back in and we'll fire it up. All right, so here we are back the next day. Uh, took a little longer than I was expecting. The four bolts uh, facing down and the two facing up, so six bolts total underneath the seat here, were a real pain in the ass to get uh, back in again. Uh, eventually I figured out that I had to do the, uh, the back two first, then the front two, and then the bottom ones after that. So just be aware of that. It might take a little longer than I expected, or than you expected. Uh, there it is though, uh, there's the old pipe. Pretty substantial weight savings, I think, probably about, uh, I'll say probably 15 to 20 pounds lighter compared to the, the stain tunes, I think are probably 15 to 20 pounds lighter than the stock system. But yeah, so uh, without uh, further ado, I'll flash it up. And so right now we'll stick in the V4. Thanks again for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like the content. And yeah, keep your upper side down, guys.